Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay Far Harbor with our child of Adam Ghoul, who is just loving this music. And it honestly makes me think of that scene from Silence of the Lambs with Hannibal Lecter when he's just like, ah, oh, so beautiful. And I'm like, well, we are somewhat of a psychopath. Uh, a nice Life's psychopath, too bloody short. but uh, you know, it's fun to remind myself of it. Oh, this is so pretty. Walking down these stairs, they really did a good job designing the experience of Far Harbor and how everything looks. Ew, Hello, Mitch. You need a nice cold vim. Let's see what you have on tap. Plenty of selection. <laughs> I love a bartender who is just drunk. That's like you never see that. Shipments of glass is pretty interesting. It doesn't have any water on tap. That's really funny. Oh, we're getting low on water. It's, uh... Wow, we were really low. Gotta find some place where I can buy some liquids from. Hello? I'm supposed to chat with old Longfellow. That is a badass looking suit you got there. Hell yeah. And apparently you could read this right in front of him. Point of interest maps across the island. Ooh, that's new. Whiskey. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Oh, I am in fact a ghoul, so I should do okay. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Ooh, ooh. I'll risk it. Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. <laughs> Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like. I actually don't have to worry about that. Begin. All right, let's uh, need some time. Should I make any other preparations? Ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three. Worse than my We need there. some explosives. All right, uh, I'm gonna get some time. I need to take care of a few things. Handle your necessities, then off with you. All righty then. Let's do this. Hello, Harbor Man. So I feel like we should be spending a good amount of time helping some of the random strangers at the town. Because they're going to give us a little bit of a better understanding of how this Far Harbor works before we just immediately start jumping into the fog and following the crazy Longfellow. So let's start with You're that Cassie. You're mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Is this one I should be listening to? I'd like to hear it. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong. Someone capable. It's a little the, the creepy side. Help. The last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. I'm gonna kill the island. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of Freckle-Faced Petey. Freckle-Faced? Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. 
He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Ooh, those are ours Island's to take a out. Sneaky bastard when it wants Hello. to. Hello. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool Let's do who it. comes along. Damn, shame. All right, I'll uh. Avenge Petey. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. Any excuse to be taking out any feral ghouls. Blood tide. Alright, so this is where we are. Apparently there is some armor of some kind right there. Interesting. Power armor. Okay, well, we're gonna try to go off to, uh, get those ferals, but let's see what that power armor is. Apparently it's in this direction. I knocked your pot off, I'm sorry. It's in the water, I'll go get it! Oh, oh, it's to go back to the commonwealth, that's where the power armor is. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Gotcha. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Actually in the bait shop, help you. Hey, bait Let's shop. Deal. Let's what do you, you have? Up. Okay, so it looks like the bait shop has a lot of interesting forms of bait. Pipe wrenches, pistols, and Molotov cocktails. All the best baits in order to catch... What? I have no idea. <laughs> oh! Oh, goodness. There they are. It's what we've been looking for. It's it's hidden here? Ooh, that's expensive. Interesting. If we're going to be able to get this armor, we might actually need to go back to the Commonwealth because there's a couple of missions we can do to get a lot of drugs. And I have a lot of food and drugs saved in Diamond City. But that's that's a lot of moving back and forth. Well, we found it. That's, uh, step one. You another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. Wait. No. <laughs> it's a mainlander. Hi. Welcome to my little That was an place. interesting thing to say. If you need doctoring, speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. No worries. That was, uh... Who's mm -hmm. Andre? Or Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. Interesting. Tell me about it. I know a few things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. <laughs> He's right there. I suppose he can no hear you. When you have a poke, but I'll be watching you. <gasps> it's a skill check, isn't it? Let's take a look. Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Intelligence 8 or Medic 2 required to heal him. Leave him alone for now. Yeah, we hardly have that intelligence, but we could probably eat some food or something to pump up our intelligence a little bit. Our intelligence currently is at 5, and we need to get it to 8. A Mentats can get us to 7, and Medic 2 was the other option, which we're not really using a lot of Medic, because uh, you just heal so slowly. It's kind of like, I don't really need to worry about the stim pack equaling out in the form of making sure I don't spend too much. That is so cool that they have a skill check so early on. That feels very awesome. Got enough backbone to stand up to the children. Oh, it's you. Hey, oh, oh, Alan. Alan. Huh. The mainlander. Great. I'm just thinking if I could Why buy anything. Done a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I'm, uh... I do believe I've done a lot of shit, hey, so... Hey, buddy. I was just trying to help. Charity makes you weak. What? Makes you need it more and more. Until you're starving from the oh, life. Oh, that's what you mean. What happens next time when you ain't here, huh? Or the next? You would have just Either died earlier. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam are worse get you. That's me! Abernathy Farm is no longer allied with us because we've left them alone for so long. I didn't know that would happen. Admiral's friend is double damage at the target is full health with the harpoon gun. Oh, that's pretty sick. Ooh, check it. Bear traps. I'm very excited to see how a bear trap works, especially if that's like a demolition thing. I mean, it doesn't make sense for it to be, but it was on the chemistry table, so it could be. There's the lever action rifle showing up new. Ooh, it's shiny. Holy crap, a radium rifle. That was, uh, we were talking about that. Interesting, it uses radiation damage and 45 rounds. I hope we'll find something like that, that potentially we could turn into a pistol style. 
All right, it turns out we can basically solve all our fusion core problems by just buying everything. So I guess we're not we're gonna have to worry about looking about fusion cores too much when we're on the island. Don't trust them. So Captain I Avery has a shop. Being good to you. At this point, I'd settle if folks were just plain civil. Nice. Ooh. Uh, I guess she doesn't necessarily have anything in here that is like a shop or whatnot. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna do some shopping and cooking and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit once I have a better understanding of What I basically need and then we can go off and try to kill those ferals Which I think will be a good start to us learning more about the island Holy crap, I didn't even notice that they have this are they cooking the the mer or what a merlock got hearthstone the mire lurk in there That is awesome. I swear someone's gonna get thrown in there. That's a person and they're gonna be like oh cook the person Bad times Brooks is a mainlander too, and a synth, whatever that is. Whoa, Brooks! Do you have any super mutants on the mainland? We got some by Aldersea. Yep, everybody's got them. You still here for some reason? Stay clear of the quarry. Loads of trappers. Don't talk to Bertha. She's crazy. Mm. Everybody's really crazy. They're like, don't talk to, talk to, don't talk to, talk to. Bertha. Get lost. I don't need your charity. Okay. <laughs> so there's this general opinion around the islanders that the island might actually be living and that the fog is in fact rolling in as a form to attack the people, to kind of take away their semblance of home and the like. Just an interesting kind of like superstition to have is this living being of a solid form that they live upon. Okay, so I just walked around looking for a cooking stove. It's right by the last plank. So if you run into the same thing, it's this little guy right here. So apparently the only way you eat gulper innards is by putting them into a soup, which makes you invisible for 10 seconds with crystal and acid. That just sounds like a terrible thing to put in your body. Like, hooray for being invisible, but holy crap. Here's what I got. So apparently Brooks is a synth, according to that one lady. She might be just crazy, though. All right, before we go out, we're gonna be wearing the nanofilament synth right arm. I think it's gonna be pretty nice to have the invisibility in this area that we're ex like we're about to enter. There's also uh, not a lot of water on the island. I haven't even found a water spot yet, so I just had to buy some purified water. So we'll see how all, all the rest of this really goes. And into the fog we go. Whew. Certainly got the eerie feeling going. But I mean, we got a good amount of ammunition now added to our gun. We have uh, a trapper. That's a human, but it's marked as red. All right, well, that's pretty interesting. It just got darker. Oh, I know what happened. It's because of the nanofilament thing. One dude down. Scrounging trapper. Just pick something up from him. Almost dead. Doesn't quite know where I am. Legendary scrounging trapper is now coming. Well, at least we get a legendary right when we get out of here. That's pretty cool. What is he holding? I can't really see what that is. This gun is just not going to be able to hit him, is it? Coastal armor. 21-21. That's actually not that bad. I'm going to actually grab some of that. I just want to see like what it takes up when you wear it. It's a full body thing except for... Yo head. All right, well, we're putting that back down. Right, there he is. Barely see him still. He can see me now. All right, well, we took that shot. So we're still doing really well in the form of, like, we don't take a lot of damage from humans, which is good. It's a little scary out here where uh, there are things more frightening than humans. We are also still in danger. Not quite sure from what. Ooh, sleeping bag out here. That's nice to see. There we go. Whoa! What an interesting gun mod. I mean, that's not something that we can really use, but I mean, pretty fucking cool. All right, I'm hearing more shots. I just don't know from where. I'm gonna tightrope up this. There we go. There you are. Level up. That's our second level up. Okay, we need to choose something now. I bet we could do more intelligence because we could be able to save that one dude with just a little bit extra and we can eventually start going to Scrapper and a lot of other good options. Chemist within the intelligence line. 
Yeah, we're going up that, and I think it'll also make sense to get a bigger explosive area on top of it. I'm gonna drop a quick little skibbity sap save, something fast, nice, and we will continue on our adventure. Fog Ghoul. All right, hurt more by uh, things like TikTok. We're gonna have to go after them because that's how our character works. But what is a fog ghoul? Well, it's dead. That's what a fog ghoul is, is dead. Ghoul Reaver, gotta go for it. Shoot. Let's see if we can get rid of the, some of these little guys off the corners first. Oh, they're actually all heading in this direction. That makes this really easy, doesn't it? Uh oh, I missed, 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 missed. Oh, good for you. Let's take a little trip. All right, the Feral Ghoul Reaver is there. There's a trick to taking out these Feral Ghoul Reavers, and I like to use mines to do it. So we're gonna get his attention in a second. First by jumping up and checking for any more crazy scary dudes in the first place. There's a couple more. Just two though. Well, you see that they're going to cross this staircase right here? So Molotov set off mines. So if you combine the explosion of a mine with the effect of a Molotov, you can create one of the just biggest high damage things ever. Plus with our high amount of damage caused by just explosives in general. Wake that son of a bitch up. Hey! 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 I'm over here! Oh, he's actually almost dead. There we go, now he's coming our way. Come on. Wow, he is just leaving. Never mind. <laughs> My amazing idea has just not worked as well. Because the feral ghoul is just gone. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm standing on this car, which was a safety issue originally, but now I'm realizing that the pathing has just taken him away. Also, he was getting killed by these gunshots pretty quickly. Oh, there you are. Okay, uh, we have the Molotov selected, go! Woo, that does a lot of damage. So the thought process is you hit the guy with the Molotov combined with the mine. And, ooh, that could be really useful. And that combination will cause enough of a high damage moment that will just take them out. Oh, more fog ghouls. And a feral ghoul. It's interesting to see the two different types of ghouls. So the fog ghoul looks darker. But I guess if the radiation's a different type of goop that happens to people, it would make sense to see that kind of thing showing up differently. They don't seem particularly stronger, though they def- Oh, it's a boat, but they definitely make them seem different. Sea Captain's hat. We already have one, so we don't necessarily need more. And I really like the helmet that I'm currently using. Ooh, I like getting all this ammunition. That's gonna help a lot when we're trying to buy some new stuff, especially that new helmet that we're looking for. The marine recon armor, that's, that was crazy amount of caps. Like that's gonna take some serious effort, potentially killing to get it. All right, I wanna go off to the north, but honestly we have a point that we were supposed to head towards, so I'm gonna just follow the road and keep doing so. All right, we're getting close. God, the spookiness of this is crazy. Vicious wolf, we have wolves here. Well, that's fascinating. All right, so they're actually less protected to uh, Thoratas, so we're gonna pull that out. Ooh, there's a couple of them. Hold uh, on, how squishy are you? Get you, finish you off. That one's not dead, okay, well. Holy crap, neither of them are dead. That one's now dead. 44 experience? So when I played a lot of the DLC for Fallout New Vegas, a lot of the enemies were crazy more powerful. Wolf meat, ooh, interesting. Were crazy more powerful. And on top of that, they gave a lot more experience. I kind of feel like that right now. Like these, those wolves weren't too hard to kill, but high experience for sure. So speaking of experience, now I don't mean necessarily in the EXP style, but I mean like the, what it's like to walk in the fog style. I wonder if there's a ton of radiation that's supposed to be hitting us right now, but we're just fine because we're a synth. Or, God, a ghoul. I did that last episode, too. Ugh. Ooh, you can hear crickets and things. They're very pretty sounding. 
I'm gonna just climb this because we're almost getting to the ghoulies. Oh man, it's been a little while since we've had a bed. I'm a, I'm a little scared now that I just thought of that. Oh man. Okay. Uh, we're invisible, which is, or we're popping in and out of invisibility, which is nice. Those look dead cool. Oh, and they're also to the left, not to the where we're headed. I'm gonna pull out ooh baby. I want some silence just in case something spooks me. There's our feral ghoul. What is this? Something I can pick just popped up. Aster. Interesting, a new plant. Alright, we got that guy. No problem. You know, having the image go away of the or like scope is kind of annoying when we're trying to snipe some of these things. Oh hey -oh. Oh shit. Legendary Feral Ghoul Reaver. Alright, uh, throw the mine, or whatever this is, throw it. Alright, it's back, but that's fine. Just keep pecking at it. Inge we keep taking out their legs when we're doing this. That's great, Hughes. Interesting. That's not exactly the most useful, but that's our second legendary that we received, and that's... I'm, I'm excited! I'm really excited if we keep getting some legendaries, we might be coming out of this some crazy good armor. Okay, so we're getting close to where we need to be. I'm really liking this synth thing right now, this is really helping out. So, I don't have very high agility, which is why I haven't picked up ninja or something. In fact, even though we're using it, but that's, uh, that's kind of just the case of our character, you know? Industrial solvent. He was designed to be a ghoul build, he picked up the ghoulish perk, discovered we didn't even need it, and uh, we also have the ability to eat people, because of course we can. Alright, now we have enemy ghouls just on the map, so that's really nice. Is this one pooping? Like, if it is, that's really cool, that shows some level of intelligence. You can sit in the outhouse seat? Hold on, we're gonna sit here. Do we turn invisible because we have our thing? Oh, we don't. That would be really cool. You turn invisible when you're wearing that. It would certainly lead an interesting world where uh, you have characters who are just like surprising others by... Oh, another Reaver. But we've been killing a lot of those who have been just respawning. Is that it? <gasps> that was it. Return to Cassie Dalton. Wow. We're done with that. Well, that's pretty epic. I, uh, I don't want to be out here too long. I want to be smart about what we're doing. So instead of exploring this place too much more... I'm gonna try to just head back there and we can pop out here again when we have uh, another mission. But I wanna be smart about all this right now. And uh, this place is spooky scary. So let's just head on back nice and quietly. Oh man, I say that and what is this though? Oh, we gotta kill ghouls, that's our character's thing. Oh man. What is this giant bubble thing? This is so interesting. I actually can't see any of the ghouls anymore. Alright, there's one. You know what? Hold on. We're bringing out the ooh baby again if we're going to do this. I know I'm cheating using the vats trick where you zoom in on somebody and it lines up your cursor right where they're going to be. So if you have something accurate like a 10 millimeter pistol. Oh my gosh, look at this place. This is like a sweet house. Oh, I really want to explore more of this. Feral ghoul, gotta take it out. Second feral ghoul. Oh man, I'm, I'm using the, uh, the wibbly- Oh shit, there's a lot of them. Let's get a mine out front, back off. Alright. I'm gonna start moving so that I can kinda actually get the cursor. Sneak attack, keep backing off. Look again, look again. Oh man, it's actually kind of hard to hit. There we go. Got him. Got him. Wow, we are just taking names. Okay, I'm gonna grab this mine real quick. We don't need it anymore. There was a rumor for a little bit that survival mode would actually have your own mine set off when you uh, stepped on them. I would have died. That would have been pretty terrible. Oh god, this is pretty sick. Okay, dudes, we're gonna just chill here for a little bit. Whew! Spooky, scary, this is exciting. Oh man, I'm liking this. The whole new, just, environment, the feeling, the, the fog, 
now I want like like I said I don't know if the radiation is affecting us in the same way with the fog but it's definitely feeling new and then the new creatures the the wolves I can't wait to cook in those and eat them that's gonna be sick so anyway dudes thank you so much for being here it was a total joy to have you if you liked what you saw please leave a like if you want to see more hit the subscribe button on the side and of course may the ground rise to meet your feet the wind always be at your back and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy sexy face dudes see you later bye